All right, meteorologist Dean Davison, the weather pros, liveweatherblogs.com. Time for a update, and this is going to go through the GFS model run, and what we're seeing on the GFS. As you see, we got showers, and we had a line of showers kind of coming through overnight here. I may actually get some thunder behind that. Some light like effect snow up in the northeast, that will give away, and the next system will come across... This will be on the day towards Friday. I see some light snow will come across the state of New Jersey, it looks like. This has been pretty consistent over the last few days. So we'll have to keep watching this to see how much we may get. And then moves away. And we get the next system moving. Now the next system is actually more of an issue for the southern areas. We see Roanoke and Lynchburg, North Carolina in this potential system and this thing will move off the coast and it looks like this one may miss the state of new jersey and then the next system moves and this one we have to watch just a little further out because we have cold air in place we're not sure how much moisture we'll have there that's the issue if we get the moisture we'll have more snow and then again it shows another potential for snow in New Jersey. That's why I said I think we're going to be more uh, snow to the south of the area. And as you see, we continue to have these low pressures move along. So we'll keep an eye on what's going on with these low pressure systems. But the pattern may change to a more more warm solution by the end of this uh, pat, uh, computer model run. But that right there shows you that we do have good potential for some snowfall this week. So the potential is going up in the Roanoke Valley for that to happen. Friday may be the day you see it for Delaware Valley snow totals. Still a little early to talk about them, but we may be seeing a few inches for sure in these locations. And with the European model, the cold air is in place for this snow. It's reported to the time where we could have the snowfall occurring in uh, Roanoke, and yes, this, the system definitely has cold air, and that sinks down through parts of North Carolina. So, this is good news if you want some snow. Still a little early, like I said, to say how much. Now, like I said, don't pay attention to numbers, but this is what the GFS is throwing out there on the latest run. Let's pull this to Friday. One inch Philly couple more inches in the northern parts. Let me move it into the day on Sunday, and we look at what we could have in southwest Virginia, which could be quite close to six inches. But like I said, this is still too far out to really say that this is, will occur. But this is just a one run, and actually it's been pretty consecutive runs going on um, with the snowfall forecast. But, or I should say snowfall uh, outlook, but I'm not going to throw numbers out there until at least probably Wednesday, uh, tomorrow night, Thursday morning, to see if this continues. Like I said, this would be some decent snow for the southeast, some light snow for the northeast, and that being said, well, D.C. would really be the loser in this with a half inch um, and then we continue on with the other system that we were showing you on the model for the northeast. And as you see, we would be closer to five, another four inches. So, like I said, that's pretty far out. But that's just exactly what's going on with the models right now. The model runs what they're showing. Um, but like I said, take no stock on those numbers. Um, but do put in the potential that we may have a few inches of snow. Possibly a significant snow if uh, this model continue. These models continue as the euro is a little further south, and the DFS has been on the same pattern for a few time. But if we slice it right in the middle, we'd still be looking at pretty good uh, snowfall here. Other than that, we're going to be watching. Like I said, tonight we have to watch for a line. It may bring some wind with it um, over here on a sim reflectivity. Plus me. There we go. You see this little thin line coming in from the west, and that may bring some winds with it. I wouldn't be surprised if it crackle thunder with it as it moves through. Other than that, pretty much what we're seeing, meteorologist Dean Davis and the weather pros. 
Thanks for watching. We'll have you in our update again tomorrow at Ray One.